Hello everyone. Uh, Susan decided to go uh, AWOL on me, so uh, I guess she didn't want to do any videos today. And that's alright, because I don't mind uh, coming on in and doing this for her. Uh, that's what we do. You know, we're family and we're twins and we always help each other out. Along with uh, introducing Cleo Yoder, uh, who is an artiste. And for your walls and for your home, uh, talk about practicality and functional living while still living in a beautiful home, Cleo can help achieve that. And we're talking about another type of plaster. Again, this is for walls, not for um, your countertops, not for floors, for walls. So here we go. This is, one is also called limestone mirror. Uh, this this is the uh, the granddaddy or the grandpa of all the plasters. Ooh. This is made out of limestone and marble, uh, and it's originated. Uh, well, this particular kind originated over in Europe. Uh, there is uh, a special coat of primer. This is similar to cement in the sense that it uh, has characteristics of cement. And that's uh, this one right here. Well, this is the acrylic. This is the acrylic version, ah. the artificial version of this. Gotcha. But it's a traditional plaster in the sense that you trowel it on, and when it's on the finished coat, you you uh, trowel it harder and press harder. You burnish it, and the burnishing brings out the shine, and it brings out the variation in the colors. Where where the darker colors are, that is where the high points are in the previous coats. And so it puts more pressure on those spots. It compacts the coloration in the plaster to be tighter together and it gives you a darker color. So you use the same color plaster on all three coats, but you get the variation in color by the compression of, of the plaster to make those, uh, to make those uh, different variations. And there's also a wax coat on here to give it the durability and to give it the particular sheen that you are wanting. This one um, is gorgeous. I love how the light, um, it almost does have that marble kind of feel and look to it. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that there's some marble in there. And uh, this is another, well, all of them that we're showing you, you could do these techniques and not think of it as being trendy. Um, this would be, like Susan had talked about, that 80-20. This is gonna be in your 80%, so you don't have to worry that, oh my gosh, in five years, I'm gonna have to cover that up. Uh, it's going to look gorgeous for years to come. This one, in particular, uh, would be beautiful in a uh, man cave, but also if you are um, more of a lodgy type of person or you're more of that Western design, uh, it would also look beautiful at, uh, um, with that. It reminds me of an old worn leather couch that you just want to sink into. And uh, when I think of that, I also get the smell of leather, even though it's not leather, um, but it is yummy like that. So uh, now this one, is it like the concrete, um, yeah, concrete gray, the acrylic? Can you get this in different colors or are there only set colors in the limestone? No. You can get this in any color. Uh, there's a colorist in Minneapolis where I order the product through. He will mix it to whatever color we want. But the, the genuine limestone plasters cannot be done in the dark, dark colors. Uh, we have a color over here, cranberry red. That's too dark for your genuine plasters. And so for the, for the, for the genuine limestone, you have to keep in the lighter colors. This is probably getting, getting uh, into the darker shades of, of the limestone. And here, um, here's the cranberry. Here's the cranberry, but this is the acrylic. Crabby, crabby red. I'm sorry. I said crabby, red. <laughs> crabby red. Well, nobody's crabby around here. We are always having a great time. Um, but yeah, this is in the acrylic where this is the limestone, correct? Yeah. And that's why it works with the red in this. That's right. That's why we okay. can go the darker colors. But the but the way you put it on 
uh, is the traditional style with troweling it on and uh, with, with three coats. Um, and so it has the same look, it has the very smooth feel, but it is uh, darker, it can be darker because of the acrylic. And I, again, I just have to say, I just want to just sit here and just feel it all day long because it just feels so yummy. Um, <laughs> like a leather couch. So um, thank you so much, Cleo. I think Susan is ready to take over. So I will exit uh, stage right. And uh, Cleo and Susan will be with you shortly for another edition of Cleo's Plaster Walls. And um, in the meantime, go to ellieans.com and check out the style quiz. <laughs>